to discuss about callout activity and it is uh, uh, it's very similar to the message box activity activity if you ask me and uh, but the only difference is like uh, message box activity will uh, wait for the user to uh, click either yes or no it will wait for, that message box will come with a pop up right? so it will wait for the user to uh, to click on it okay whereas call out activity will not wait for it it will have certain amount of time and um, so in that specific amount of time uh, it will open and again it will automatically get closed and execution will get completed okay so what i'll do here is let me let me show uh, the workflow and uh, let me see the work let, let me show the output workflow then we'll see the x uh, implementation okay so i'm starting the workflow now now you can see it started now it is opening a browser now you can see it is waiting for a certain amount of time then it is when pop-up came and it is waiting for a certain amount of time then it is closing so uh, let me show it here so this is a pop-up so i waited for a particular element okay so let us implement the same concept again functions just uh, it, it, the main use case the main advantage of this callout function is like uh, it will wait for the element any ui element to get activated okay so it will have uh, some amount of time default is 30 seconds so so it will wait for that amount of time and uh, till that time if an element is available you can increase the time and you can reduce the time okay so uh, it, Till that time, if the element in DOM, okay, document object model, if that element is not activated, then it will wait for that particular element to get activated. Okay, so you have specified such an amount of time. In that amount of time, if uh, your uh, element is not presented, then it will show element not found exception. So usually, let's say you have given something like 50 seconds. Okay, so you are giving an element uh, element to get enabled for 50 seconds of time okay if it is enabled in 30 seconds then well and good then uh, you can proceed with the execution so you are implicitly giving some time for element to oh, available in a DOM and that is very important okay so let me let me show with example here open what I'll do is let me open a browser this particular element on the screen so this is not the yeah what I will do is give me a second yeah, this because I will use this google search like a dialog box only so it is presented in the dialog box same as uh, your, your message box okay so it is asking for indicate element inside a browser okay so i'm indicating this particular element okay then uh, content is like identifying And 
here you I have to mention the time okay let me give two percent once it is available let me click let me click on the same element okay so i'll be going here i'll be selecting the same element again so it, this click activity will wait for the time that i presented in a call out activity so in a way you are asking you are waiting for a particular element okay that is really good and yeah let me save it let me run this okay okay this is my browser you can see that particular element Running it now. Now it is uh, opening. Now you can see the particular element is identifying. It's clicking. Okay, so that is good. Okay, I think for this now uh, properly that selectors were not properly. I already have so let me use the same as selectors here my intention is to ex, uh, explain the concept properly so let me use that particular selector here you can see it's not properly there yeah so let me close this instance now now it is starting now you can see it is waiting then that pop up itself is closed and it's clicked on the uh, that search button okay so let me show the difference between these two by message box so again in the dialogs Now you can see displaying is this that message box is displayed and is waiting for that OK and it is not giving it is not typing anything so the execution has been at message box itself whereas with the callout function that's the difference between the message box and callout callout will be stopping an execution particular amount of time that is the timer that we have given it will stop the execution whereas display will stop until unless user gives this ok ok now you can see what is the difference between those two i hope it's clear and usually this uh, callout will be used in front of his uh, ways let me let me tell you like you have a certain form user id password email id something like that and sadly some something is there so you have missed the uh, particular field so with this callout function it is it will show like no this field is mandatory please enter like that it will show and it is really helpful in in those element those uh, those scenarios okay so it's like an internal wait if you if you ask me implicitly wait will will be one concept will be there in selenium so it's 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 more or less the same thing okay so i hope it's very clear to you if you have any doubt please mention in the comment section and also please do subscribe to my channel for more videos thank you